Hi, this is Rachel White, and I am in the film program, and this is my podcast video for Art in the Industry. And today I am interviewing Spencer Belinda, who is also a student in the film program and also works as a grip and a dolly grip. Hi. So, uh, Spencer, I just have a couple questions for you today. Okay. Um... The first one being, what do you see as the role of the visual arts in society today, particularly in your profession? Well, in my profession, the visual arts is basically everything. I mean, as a grip or as any person who works on a film set, your job at the end of the day is to help create images. I mean, that's really the whole basis of the entire industry. So... And my in my industry specifically, visual arts is everything. Visual arts is a money making tool. Visual arts is a creative storytelling tool. Visual arts is is life. Wow, that's pretty deep. <laughs> so, um, second question: New communications and media technologies make imagery almost instantly available today. Do you believe that this has a positive or a negative influence on your industry? And can you provide an example? Well, I mean, it's negative in a way that a lot of people can make a lot of terrible movies and a lot of terrible content that's just poorly made. But it's also a good thing because the fact that so many people can just go to Best Buy and buy a camera for $200 and go make a short that they've been working on for four years they just haven't been able to get the money for you know they can make some really interesting content and people can get discovered that way a lot easier because a lot more people can see what they're making you know 30 years ago you'd have to get together at least enough money to buy film rent a camera hire a crew pay for the film processing pay a film editor and it was a lot the analog workflow was a lot more expensive and so today it's more available to the masses which i mean is a good thing and a bad thing absolutely what images are frequently repeated throughout your industry well as far as images being repeated in the industry i would have to say there's obviously like archetypes that you'd get from from an old tale like a greek myth or something those kinds of stories are repeated all over everything you know there's A lot of people will say that there's only six original stories and every other story ever told is basically just a knockoff of that. But then there's also the images of like, say, take Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, for example. You know, the the famous shower scene where Norman Bates comes in and stabs the woman to death and they show the, the blood pouring down the drain. You see parodies of that in all kinds of movies like Looney Tunes back in action or like on Family Guy. A lot, of, a lot of things are referenced and parodied and, <clears throat> you know, they make note of things because they're significant. Who is one of your favorite visual artists and or what is your favorite style of visual art? Well, it's hard to nail down my favorite style because I really like to watch every type of movie. But I would say one of my favorite visual artists would have to be Martin Scorsese because... Not only is he able to tell like a deep, dramatic story with a lot of layers and a lot of different character arcs that you know really envelops the audience, but he also inserts you know personality in each character and and has like a lot of comic relief and variety. You know, it can be suspenseful one moment and then it can be you know like a big action scene the next moment and then right after that it's you're laughing. The next moment you're crying. It's it's, it's like a variety show, but worthy of an Oscar. Wow. So how has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process? Well, um, I mean, obviously watching, like, old films of, you know, the early days of film and even, like, reading books and seeing images from the 1800s has inspired me to write historical fiction and different things of that nature simply because that age sort of interests me. So I find it more interesting than right now. You know, the day they invented trains, that's pretty cool. <laughs>